Next up, we're going to talk about some other ways of generating traffic. And the first one I want to talk about is joint ventures, actually working with other people. Because you've got a range of products with 50% commission uh, on many of them. And what you can do is actually maybe you can find someone that's got a list of people that might be interested in that product, but they haven't got a 50% commission affiliate arrangement with that product. And you could bring that product to them and say, look, I've got this product. I work as a, an agent for this person, partner with this person. Are you interested in promoting it to your list? We can give you 33% commission maybe. And then you keep the rest for yourself. So you're on 50% commission. You give them 33%, give them a third. You keep 17% commission and you don't have to do any work other than maybe make a phone call or an email and find someone that's willing to partner with you. So joint ventures can be really good. And just to give an example of some of the joint ventures I've done in some of my other businesses, so I've got a, a, a training business in the music industry. It's called the Songwriting Academy. And we run courses on songwriting, on music production and music business. So we looked at what we were offering and thought, well, who has got our target audience? Who has got a database of musicians and songwriters? And we thought about it for a bit and just brainstormed and we came up with the, the Musicians Union. Perfect. They've got our target audience. So we've partnered with the Musicians Union and got them to promote our courses um, in exchange for a, a commission, a referral arrangement. And we've reciprocated that by promoting Musicians Union to our member base. So that's an example of a, a, um, a joint venture we've done there. We've also partnered with BASCA, the British Academy of Songwriters, Composers and Authors. We've partnered with music instrument vendors because we know they've got musicians on their books as well. And um, various other brands as well. So we've just looked at who might already have the target audience. So for these products that you've got, there are lots of companies out there that have got a database of your perfect target audience. So you've got a product aimed at children. So think of any brand that's got a database of parents, i.e. any business that sells anything for kids. They might be interested in adding a financial freedom for kids product to the stuff that they offer and work with you and do a joint venture maybe with that. So JVs can be really, really good. And basically, it's the fastest way to grow your business because um, whether it's to do with these affiliate products or not, what I found with doing joint ventures is that basically, instead of me trying to find customers one by one myself by doing YouTube and Facebook and everything else, if I just make one phone call or make one strategic alliance via email or whatever, suddenly I can reach 10,000, 50,000, 100,000 people just from one conversation. So it's a massive way of leveraging your business. Now, normally JV partners are done on 50-50, but most of the products you've got are on 50-50. So in order to make any margin for you, you can't really afford to do 50-50, can you? Because you're only getting 50%. So what you might want to do is, as I said, maybe do a 30% or a 35% commission. That's what you offer, and you just keep the change. You keep the 15%, 17% commission for you. But there are a lot of people with lists and databases that if you knock the door and said, like, I've got this great product, it sells for 500 quid, and you can earn a 35% commission on it, it's still worth having it, isn't it? It's still 150 quid plus per sale. Uh, and I've done lots of JVs over the years at 30%, 35%, 40%, as well as a lot of 50%. So you've got a bit of margin there that you could do something. So that's another way that you could think about maybe working with these products you've got or indeed working with any other products you may have too. And actually, just on that subject, I know from chatting at that break, several of you have got products with resale rights where you get 100% of the profits. Who's got products with 100%? You've got resale rights licenses from Andrew. Fantastic, loads of you. So you've got 100% margin to play with, right? So rather than trying to sell products one by one, if you partner with people and you could afford to offer them 50%, you could offer them 60% because you're on 100%. You could offer them 70% commission and you take the 30 So there's lots of things you could do there. So... A useful website for finding people that have got big influence is this website here. It's called Ninja Outreach. And this is a tool for finding those people with the big following, so the big social followings, the people with the big YouTube accounts, the big Facebook accounts. And Staz was talking before lunch about how you can pay influencers to promote a product, and you can pay them a fee to get them to you know, make a post about your particular product or service with an affiliate link. But actually, rather than paying an upfront fee, you can reverse the risk and just do a joint venture with them and say, look, if you promote this to your followers, I'll give you a share of the profits that the sales make. So it's zero risk marketing for you. You get someone to make a post using a, a tracked affiliate link back to them. 
any sales, you give them 50% commission, let's say. So they're making money just from using their social following, free money for them. You're making money just by engaging with somebody with a bit of following.